in school right now, you've got kids, maybe not in software development, but in a subject, using AI to help them do their homework. And there's this debate. Are they cheating or is that like the real education? Because you're going to do that in your job after graduation, right? Like why write it by hand if the AI can help you? I wonder if our engineers are thinking the same thing. Do they feel like they're cheating if they use some AI to help them code and therefore they need to do it manually? Mixed bag. When we started pushing people to really dive headfirst into AI a year and a half, two years ago, whatever it was now, we definitely had a bunch of people who couldn't care less. They like, you think like, they were skeptical or scared? Skeptical. More another than, fad. Yeah. Initially, it was another fad. Yeah. Then it was, oh, it's bad output, so I don't want to work with it. Yep. Uh, and then I was like, yeah, not for me. Did or... you have some of that, admittedly, as a developer? When you were wearing your developer hat two years ago. When I first saw GPT-2. Yeah. And it started outputting some things, yeah. like, super early on. And I outputted some stuff. I looked at it, I'm like, nah, that's not very useful. It wasn't until a gentleman that we know named Matt Park. He showed me GPT-2 of a prompt that did work. And I kind of sat there. I was like, holy crap. Like, if it could work consistently, what could we use it for? Right? Yeah. And you fast forward now. Obviously, it's way better than it used mm -hmm. to be. I would say the vast majority of our technical team, even, like, account managers, right, are even using Cursor now to, like, write scripts and things yeah. for their customers and more. These are really non-technical, non-developers writing code. I would go as far as saying 90-plus percent of our technical team in general is actively using this stuff today.